I'm Andrew Jenkinson, the Caravan Expert, and welcome to my Caravan channel. Well, I'm in the new Bailey Alicanto Grande Faro, which is a quid short of 30k. It's 8 foot wide of course, because Bailey came into the market 8 foot wide with the Pegasus as well. And um, what do I think? Well, I've seen the uh, Alicanto and they're not a bad fan for the money. But what I do like is the locker designs. Um, it's a little bit of Bailey Clubman there in, in, in some respects. But it also has been carried on into the um, Unicorn range. And to me, that's made a vast improvement to the interior of the Unicorn. It looks a far better than... In fact, I'd say it's probably one of the best interiors uh, around, actually. Um, probably come up next to Coachman. But it certainly looks good. Right, so I'm going to take you a quick world round. And um, I'm going to go into the kitchen, do that area. And then I'm going to go in the end, end bedroom, where it's an island bed. So follow me through. Well, Bailey adopted an l shape. Uh, kitchen so basically you get most you know you can make the most of this eight foot width with the worktop surface also you've got decent sink here I mean, we saw this in the Luna Quasar uh, 696 I think it was and I thought it really worked well and since then Bailey have adopted it for their eight foot wides um, the heating for the Aldi heating is up there controls and of course you do get a dual fuel hob as I say worktop is pretty good not so bad, there's great storage too, good size cupboard, I quite like the light down here, it looks, it's quite nice, quite trendy, got quite a, a nice splash back here, and push button in your lockers, and of course in the front you've got your um, radio and things like that, and you've got those little natty headrests as well, which is a bit of an Adria takeoff spin. Over here of course you've got the uh, must-have microwave, and you've got a TV stand here and you've got a wine rack how posh is that right on this side you've got the fridge which is fridge freezer which you can open up on this side and you can open up on that side too whatever takes your fancy storage above uh, which also has the um, control thing in for the uh, solar panel, forget me words there. All the controls for the van, the electrics are on here, and so far it's looking pretty good. So follow me through into the rear uh, end here. And first of all, just before we go, we'll give a quick look at this washroom. Now, the thing is, hang on, the camera's going to have to come around here, so I'll just shut that door a minute. open it up there's a shower I'll just pop my head round here and there's a cassette loo there's a corner sink unit and a storage above there that shower looks a little bit old-fashioned I think I think it finished in white would have been better it has a little bit of a remnants of a more of a one of these public sort of uh, shower things that you see sometimes these portable things um, but I, I personally think that could work better if it was all in white but it's a perfectly good size washroom and they've done a good job on that so let's go through here now what Bailey have done they've put transverse bed in the back here which of course I always think works better than a normal island bed you've got this nice decent size window you've got your twin uh, wardrobes roof lockers and a good size bed and also this pulls out too and pulls away so you can get round it during the day You've got a good side window here too, so there's lots of light and a hikey roof vent. So on a, even on a dull day in here, it will feel quite bright. Space-wise, generally, not bad at all. 
and what I do like actually is this side dresser here this is just quite nice and uh, I don't know about this 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 padding it reminds me a bit of, of Marden Cameron some years ago I think I might have gone for a uh, like a velour finish on that you've got a decent sized mirror and LED lighting and you've got some good general storage so it's going to be used as a two berth this so for two people they're going to find they've got more storage than what they need okay let's have a quick summary right the Alicante Grande Ferrara well I think it's not a bad van at all it's a shade as a short of 30k it's 20 foot internal length of course it's 8 foot wide and you've got lots of general storage and these big uh, corner cubby compartments where the uh, radio is up the top of their CD and of course the Bailey traditional big front window. Um, probably the thing I think is a little bit again this sort of finish round there seems that like, again they're possibly a little tad slightly dated maybe I don't know they've been using that for, for, for a little sort of while I think on unicorns but LED lighting up there more spotlight lighting and of course you've got your your, your headrests here so you can land down in perfect comfort what you don't have is access flaps to under the uh, seats here which I think on a van of this money they should be on generally for 30k there's a lot of van here but there's for a few grand more you can probably start looking at Buccaneer, Eldest Crusader that sort of thing so there's quite a lot of competition in the end of the market and have they done a good job? yeah I think they have the washroom works well and there's not really much really you can say that doesn't work so Bailey seem to have pulled out another ace card out of the pack and gone for another eight foot wide van and this completes their lineup so far the Alicante Grandes right please feel free to get in touch with me uh, and uh, please subscribe and like and I'll speak to you again on my next test review bye for now